Hey everybody, how we doing? Well, boy, somebody's full of activities. Run, 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 yeah. All right, we have separated, pulled the rams, and uh, the ewes are there. Taz, how you doing? Chewing on something, I see. Where's Stoney? He must be around the corner, huh? Yeah, he's probably over at the hay eating. Anyway, we have separated, and the ewes are there now. Got the rams over here. Um, I thought, boy, I'll tell you what, put the rams together. We're going to show you some, we're going to have some fighting going on, and uh, we'll be able to show you some fighting. I turned them out in this pen uh, when I first brought them over, and as you can see, I opened the pasture gate. I wanted somebody to be able to go out into the pasture, and I think I wasted a lot of time because <laughs> there was no fighting. There was nothing. Uh-oh, somebody's coming with his ball. Looking to play? Yeah, I'm busy right now. You have to play with yourself or something. Do something, chase it yourself. Anyway, no fighting. I, that's the first time I've had that happen. Now, I'm not going to say it was mutually they both agreed. Taz would have, he, he, he would have liked to have done some fighting. Stoney really didn't care. I don't know if that's maturity. You know, he's older now and more mature, so he didn't feel a need. But basically, Stoney just turned his back to him. And he wouldn't face him. And as long as he didn't face him head on, uh, Taz figured, there's nothing I can do. I, I can't fight somebody that doesn't want to fight. So I think he hit Stoney in the butt a couple of times. And Stoney went out in the pasture and went out and ate some grass. and. Taz tried to harass him a little out there, but it didn't amount to much, and that was it. So it was done. Now, as far as the ewes are concerned, basically, right now it's just keep them fed. If you notice, I got them back on this feeder. I got part of this grass bale. That was the grass bale that I had over in the shed over here that I was feeding them. So I ended up taking it out. And I just laid it there because I figured it would just last a few more days. And I think we've got some snow coming, but if the snow comes before I get rid of it, I'll put a tarp over it. I wanted to open that up. I could move a pair of round bales of alfalfa in there. I could move another round bale over. And I now have a slot open in my shed, which I need because once we start snowing, I like to back my pickup blade in there so that when I come out in the morning and have to move snow, I don't have to scrape everything off the pickup. So... I moved hay bales around a little. Right now, my hay bale in here, I have not used it. I've been taking hay from the other one and putting it in here. This is the one that had a bad wrap. Half the wrap was broke, but it's still in one piece and it's sitting on a pallet. So I'm probably gonna try to not use it if I can help that because I've got one in the barn to use and then I wanna switch them to alfalfa. I, matter of fact, I probably like to switch them to alfalfa next week. Uh, first part of December, starting to get cold now, in the 30s, getting down to teens at night. I like to give them a little more of the alfalfa hay, but I got two thirds of a grass bale in there, I gotta feed first. So they're gonna be a while, but once I get those alfalfas out of here, I'm thinking with, I bring down my uh, son-in-law's bobcat with the forks on it, I think I can pick that pallet up and set that back in and, and not even use it. So we'll see. Uh, maybe if I get down, I can put a alfalfa in there and feed the rams alfalfa over the winter. I don't know. We'll see which, whichever way it works. So, but for now, we got the ewes taken care of. They're over there. The boys and this guy. Yeah, we're going to talk a little about you. This guy has got an attitude. I'm going to tell you, he has, putting him with the ewes or whatever, and he's had a time been out for a while now, but he's got an attitude I don't like. Uh, I'll tell you what, when he stands there, man, he looks you he looks you right in the eye and it's always head held high. Uh, I'm always say, don't trust a ram. I trust him even less. I'm, I'm to the point, I mean, I love his genetics. I love his horns. I love how he grows. It grew as fast as he did. But you know what? I don't like his attitude. I don't like it one bit. So uh, 
I know, I've kind of been the deal, but there's a lot of good rams out there. Uh, a lot of potential good rams. If you got one that's mean, you got one that's nasty, uh, you got one that's dangerous, it's best not to hang on to that. Now, I'm not saying that's necessarily what he is, but, you know, Lomax was a little, he's a little worse. Yeah, you're, you're a little worse. You, uh, I don't know what it is, but he's just, uh, that's the kind of ram he is. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens down the line. I'm not, everybody's sitting now. We're fine here. I really don't have much to talk about, guys. This is going to be a short video because there's just not much to do. The U's are out. The rams are there. The U's are there. Uh, it's cold. There's not much I'm doing outside right now. Uh, I suppose the next thing is, and I don't know, two, three weeks from now, I'm going to ultrasound. We'll do the ultrasounds. My daughter will come down with an ultrasound machine. We'll ultrasound. We'll try to see if everybody's bred, if we got everybody bred or not, or if anybody's open. The other nice thing with the ultrasound machines is, as my daughter has gotten a lot better at it, now she can pretty much tell we can sit down and as she sees the size uh, of the egg inside or where they stand, we can probably get a pretty good handle on who's first, who's second, who's last. I mean, you're not going to get precise as to, okay, this is first one, this is second one, this is third. But you can get down to say these three will probably be the first three. And these two over here, uh, they're probably going to be your last ones because uh, they're not uh, they, they're not that bred for that long a period of time. So, But we'll do that in a few weeks. I don't know when, two weeks, three weeks. I don't know. Uh, We'll kind of sit down, and this time of year, some of it's the weather. I'm not going to stand out in the barn and freeze. We'll try to get a decent day. Uh, it's tough to do it. My daughter's sitting there, no gloves or nothing like that. You hate to do that when it's in 20s and 30s. So, Otherwise, that's all I got for now, guys. There's nothing much to going, but we'll be back in a few weeks and uh, talk to you about ultrasounds.